Okay, let's take a look at the exponential distribution. And just um, generally, it's a continuous probability distribution. I'm not going to go over the, all the details of the exponential distribution. The book does a pretty good job on that. Um, and you can read about the, the connection between it and the Poisson distribution. Now, we've got two functions we're going to be looking at. Uh, doesn't mean there's not more. I'm just showing you kind of the basics here. Um, to be honest, I don't know if there's any more, but these are the two we use. Uh, we got DEXP, um, and then uh, passing an X value, and then our lambda. And this is the um, probability at a value. And we got PEXP, X and then lambda. And this is the cumulative probability up to a value. First thing we're going to do is find lambda. The book will talk about how you can find that. Most times it's given in a lot of books. Uh, if necessary, rewrite the problem with inequality, equality symbols. You won't be able to list out the values because this is a continuous distribution. So if you say x is less than 4, it's not 0, 1, 2, and 3 because they include all the decimals too. So you'd be the rest of your life writing down all the possibilities. And still not right, even come close when, you're, when you pass away. Then you use a table and a phone slide to determine how to enter the, the function. Okay, so uh, probably x equals a, we do dexp, um, d exponential, uh, and then a, and then comma lambda. Um, probability x is less than or equal to a, that's our p uh, exp, uh, the p exponential, uh, a comma lambda. And probability x is greater than or equal to a is 1 minus probability uh, or p exp, uh, a lambda. And then the between a and b, you do your uh, P E X P B minus P E X P of A. Okay, so we're going to look at um, this these examples here. Uh, it's uh, telling us it's an exponential distribution. Already gives us lambda. So uh, let's see. Not down there. Pound signs again are um, comments. And lambda is equal to 3 and A. How about exactly 3? Back to our steps. Uh, find lambda, we already were given that. If necessary, we write problem with inequality or equality symbols. Exactly is equal. So x equals 3, which matches the form this right here. x is equal to a. So a is equal to 3. And that says that we're going to plug it in with this, uh, this form right here. D, D, E, X, P. A, which is 3, comma, lambda, which we said was, did I want lambda to be, th I think I changed that. Let's make it point 0.3. That was a pretty high lambda. Um, this is version 1. <laughs> it'll, it'll get there eventually. Um, okay, and then 0 0.3. So then if I run that, it gives uh, that probability there. Um, when I had a, a larger lambda, what would happen is some of these were coming up really huge when I was doing testing. Okay, B is less than 4. Less than 4. And we'll go ahead and write it to inequality x is less than or equal to 4. Whether it's less than 4 or less than or equal to 4, um, the amount of area in a single line at a single point, like at 4, with the exception of this first one here, <laughs> um, is, uh, such that, um, is such that we don't even consider it. So again, if you have less than 4, you can put less than or equal to. Less than or equal to would be this form right here. So A is what follows the lesser equal to. So 
a is equal to 4. And we plug it in with this, PEXP, PEXP, and then we plug in A, and then lambda. A is 4, and lambda was 0 0.3. <clears throat> and that gives us our probability. C. C says, at most one. That, again, applies a less than or equal to. So x is less than or equal to 1. So a is equal to 1. From same uh, principle as the one we just did. Now do pexp, 1, comma, 0 0.3. And that gives us our answer. D. D says more than three. Well, writing that if the inequalities more than would be x is greater than or equal to three. Now greater than or equal to. That's this form right here. And then what, whatever follows you greater than or equal to is your a. So a is equal to 3. And our formula says we're going to do 1 minus pexp. 1 minus pexp uh, a. Yeah, a. 3 comma lambda, which is 0 0.3. And that gives us that probability. E. Probability um, of um, at least two. At least two. Rewrite now in terms of inequalities, that's x is greater than or equal to two. So a is two. I'm using the same formula as uh, d. We got one minus pexp uh, two comma 0 0.3. And that, that gives us our answer. And last last one, F, probability that um, between 3 and 5. Between 3 and 5. Inequality-wise, that's uh, 3 is less than or equal to X is less than or equal to 5. Which matches... This last form, A is our smaller number, B is our larger number. So A is equal to 3 and B is equal to 5. And then we want to plug it into this one. So P, EXP, uh, B, 5, 0 0.3, minus P, EXP, A, which is 3, and then 0 0.3, or lambda. And if we run that, that would be our probability, our answer. And that's the exponential uh, distribution using the R programming language.